Hi folks, welcome back. Patrick Barrett here, your favorite driver education guru, and of course, author and creator of the ever popular Driver Ed in the Box. I had another question that I thought we'd discuss today, and this comes up frequently, and that's how long should an in-vehicle lesson last? Now, there are several guidelines for this, but use a little common sense. Some states require uh, 30 minutes uh, or less. Uh, some require an hour or less. Uh, some don't have any requirements about it. And the reality is just use a little common sense. The problem if you go less than 30 minutes or less than an hour is that you don't get a lot of time to practice and build the reinforcement that you need. Because when you in any sport at all, uh, anything you do, what do you You have to repetition, repetition, repetition. I mean, you're doing this over and over and over and over and over again. And you're stopping and correcting it. You're making adjustments, allow to go out and practice again, make the commentary, understand, have a little communication, discuss what was correct, what wasn't correct, notice the differences, and then go back out and practice again. And that just takes time to do it. Okay, and now this doesn't mean that you're moving the vehicle the whole time because a lot of times, as we just described, you're going to pull over, stop, you're going to talk about what happened, what didn't happen, and what we need to do to correct it right now. That's the time to do it. Not an hour later, not a day later. The time to do it is right then. Now, it is true that sometimes you have to let things process. You'll go through it, and then you'll let it process for a while, and then you'll come back and talk about it later and say, oh, now I, get, I can see what the problem was. But in most instances, it's best to deal with the inappropriate or uh, the mistakes right there, right then, so that you can make the minor corrections necessary to help get it right. And then go out and practice it so that a student has a chance to uh, build the neural pathways, again, that allows them to establish the patterns of that muscle memory and of like, oh, that's how I look. That's how I'm supposed to move. That's how I can tell when I'm a little bit off. Okay, that requires what? Time. So it is a good idea to have a couple hours, in my opinion, for a practice session. You know, anywhere from 90 minutes to, not, uh, to two hours is great. In fact, when I was teaching uh, beginners, I almost always uh, had a three-hour appointment. Now, understand, uh, you wouldn't go from 8 to 11 and not take a break. You take a break as often as you need to, okay? Sometimes you'll take a break and maybe go in and use the restroom. Sometimes they'll take a break, go in and have something to drink and talk about what they're doing, and then go back and practice some more. You know, once you notice uh, that the person is no longer doing well, in other words, the fatigue seems to be setting in, or you're just tired yourself, maybe it's time to cut it off. And that doesn't matter if that's 45 minutes or 90 minutes, you know, because you want to make sure that these lessons are productive and fun and that they feel like, yeah, well, I can't wait to come back and do this again now. All right? That's really the way you want to leave it. And that's why, you remember, you always practice so that you finish the lesson with something the student does what? does well. That's right. Make sure that they do that really well. And, and if it isn't, then you go back out and you find something they do well because you want them finishing with something that gives them confidence and makes them feel good. And it makes you feel good too because as the instructor, you're like, ah, yeah, we got through here. That worked out really well. So be patient. Take your time. It's a process. Use a little common sense on the lesson, but schedule a block of time so that you have that time available. Again, this is Patrick Barrett reminding you that when you practice, practice like your life depends on it, because it does. And if you need any additional resources, any help at all, go to www.driveredinabox.com. Get one of our resources. Let us help you save someone's life. This is Patrick Barrett saying bye now.